Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Well, my last video on cooking, which was the first one I did on the actual uh, venison stroganoff was a really big hit. A lot of you guys wanted to see more recipes, especially with game meat that we can get here in Australia. So today what I'm gonna actually cook for you is actually a peanut rabbit stir fry. Now this is a really tasty stir fry, so let me show you the ingredients that you'll need. Seven to 800 grams of rabbit, two large onions sliced, bay leaves, some sesame oil, smoked paprika, black pepper, a red and a green capsicum, a couple of bird's eye chilies, soy and honey sauce, some brown sugar, turmeric, some garlic, some crunchy peanut butter, coconut milk. Now you can serve it with rice or uh, noodles, so today I'm gonna to be using the Hokkien noodles. So first of all, the rabbit, you want to cut it up, okay? Cut it up into strips there because obviously you're doing a stir fry, so you don't want, you know, big chunks of meat. You just want nice strips. Okay, so once you've uh, got that all nicely uh, cut into strips there, we want to soak it in milk. Now, usually the old saying is soak it in milk overnight, but really you want to have it in there for a minimum of about uh, six hours. So if you can put it in for longer, you know, all the better. It just uh, makes that rabbit tastes that little bit better. So I just put it into a plastic container here using good Australian Norco milk. Just soak it. Just give it a bit of a swirl around because you just want that milk to get into every little bit of meat that's in the container. Then just pop the lid on and let's put it in the fridge there for about six hours. So we want to prepare some of the ingredients. Now we've already chopped the onion up so now we just want to get the uh, capsicum and the red chili and the garlic prepared. So I'll start off with the uh, red capsicum. Just want to cut it into strips there. Then a bit of green capsicum. Now we want a single clove of garlic. So just cut the ends off there. And I like to just push on it, flatten it down, and then you can just get the extra bit of skin off it. Now we've got our rabbit out of the fridge here. It's been soaking for about eight hours now in the milk, so you can see that it's got the milk all over the flesh there. It's soaked in really nicely. So we just want to strain that, chop up a bit of chili, and now we're ready to start cooking. So heat up the wok, and you want to add about a tablespoon of the sesame seed oil. Good dash of smoked paprika. Good amount of pepper, two bay leaves, a bit of a stir. Now it'll get pretty hot here. We just want to have it down on medium heat, but we'll add the rabbit now. Now you want to give it a good stir for about sort of two, three minutes until the uh, rabbit starts to brown. Add the onion. Add the capsicum and add the chili. Now you want to get the heat into those onions and the capsicum and everything, mix it through constantly for a couple of minutes. Add the garlic, two tablespoons of soy and honey sauce. Half a teaspoon of brown sugar. Teaspoon of turmeric. Two tablespoons of peanut butter. And a quarter cup of coconut milk. You wanna stir all this around and you'll notice that it'll start to really thicken up. So just keep cooking it, stirring it until it really thickens up. Turn the power off and let it sit and we'll get the noodles ready. So at this point, boil up some water. So once it's boiling, turn the power off. Add the Hokkien noodle. And just cover that up and let it sit for a few minutes. So gently separate the noodle. It's the pair of tongs here. Then mix it through. Okay, and there you have it guys. Peanut rabbit stir fry with Hokkien noodle. 
Absolute beautiful recipe, tastes delicious, so why not get out this weekend, harvest yourself a rabbit, and give it a go. All right, we'll leave the review at that, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please comment below, and we'll do more in the future.